Hey everyone, we have another word from our sponsor from Liquid IV. So if you'll give me a minute, we'll start the show soon. It's cold and flu season, if you haven't noticed. A lot of my friends and family are getting sick, so it's really smart to stay hydrated with Liquid IV. Just rip the convenient packet, add water, and stay hydrated. My favorite flavor is watermelon because it tastes really good and it's not as sweet as the other sports drinks I've had. Liquid IV contains five essential vitamins, B3, B5, B6, B12, and vitamin C. All that probably help with not getting sick at least. Not to underestimate the three times the electrolytes of other leading sports drinks. Get 20% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code NERDBS, all lowercase, and one word. At checkout, that's 20% off anything you order when you shop better hydration today using promo code NERDBS at liquidiv.com. Now, thank you for listening, and we'll go to this show. Hello and welcome to another episode of Nerd BS. We are on episode five of season three. It is March twelfth, twenty twenty four. It is a Tuesday. Uh, I'm Alan, and I'm joined here by Kyle and Chris. How are you guys today? Yeah, Tomas isn't here. Chris is here instead. He's a replacement for this episode. How's it going, guys? Yes, I love it. I love being the replacement. I feel so honored <laughs> and I'm always at least top three in the draft pick. You're like, you know what? Tomas isn't going to be here. Who can we call? And it's usually me. Call. I love being on the roster, guys. So I appreciate you having me back. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're the oh. sixth man for sure. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, Jamal Crawford, baby. Uh, nice. Let's give me a- <laughs> nice. That award. Call out. Yeah. Uh, I'm, do- I'm doing okay. Um, I didn't tell you, Chris, but I had a procedure on Friday. Um, So uh, I'll just say this. The Sattler bloodline will have to be carried on by JJ now uh, because I can no longer reproduce. (laughs) You can defang (laughs) the snake? You went to it. You got a defanging? You got defanged? Yeah. I never heard of that called that. That's pretty good. (laughs) How did you? you, Go ahead. Uh, how long ago did you get it done? It was Friday, Friday afternoon. Oh crap! How you doing? Are you are you okay? Uh, I am. Yeah, I'm uncomfortable. Uh, they give you some good medication though. Yeah, so yeah. I'm feeling fine for the most part. But like I was driving around today, and I didn't I didn't take my the meds in the morning because you're really not supposed to drive on it. Yeah. So like like halfway. Th- about lunchtime, I got out of the car with the kids and I was like, oh, <laughs> it's a little sore down there. T- time for daddy's old <sighs> oh pill medicine. God. Yeah, <laughs> so. I just, I, yeah, I got, the, I got that done a while ago too. And it just, yep, I'm, I'm having flashbacks right now. Yep. It, I feel yeah, pain. It just, it I just say. feels like you got kicked down there. It's not like super yeah. hard, but just ever just so, just yeah, enough. just <laughs> all the time. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'll be all right. Ice packs and rest. Yeah, but, um, man, did we better. go horseback riding? Because I feel like we just went horseback riding. <laughs> Seriously. Anyone dude? else sore? No, just me. All right. Okay. Yeah, that first day, uh, man, when the when the pills hit, I was like, hey, this ain't so bad. And then the net, I woke up like, oh, this is awful. <laughs> I lied. Did you did you put some anti venom in a in a in a, uh, in a vial or are, are we are we we know oh that? Did I didn't think of that as an option. Well, no, I didn't. Um, Jeez. Oh, that's I, it. I, yeah, I had the two kids. They better they better do something. Step better, up. Because well, <laughs> what's crazy is 
you know, I have four siblings and none of them have kids. So like, it's really, you know, my, the Mohicans over here. Yeah, <laughs> my, my parents really <laughs> did a lot of work. And then, uh, the rest of it, this, this generation, we're kind of lazy. So. You go here and, you, and, you, and you go out here and just a quitter. You're like, I'm done. Tap it yeah. out. <laughs> Dude, I, I tapped out after one. So I can't, I got really nothing to say. I was like, I had one kid and I was like, you know what? I'm done. One it really I, is. I enough. have, I have my nieces and nephews. I I'm good. Yep, these yeah. are the kids that are be- they're, they're they're a little bit better in a sense where I can I can hang out with them and give them back to their parents when we're done. And, and you had a home. you had a son too, so it's yeah, you're, you're good. Yeah, he can he can carry it on. <laughs> carry it ideally, on. ideally. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> we'll see. Well, time will tell. We shall see. But uh, I have a little follow-up from last week's Star Wars Unlimited discussion. Uh, we were talking about the game a bit, and I actually made it down. Well, I didn't make it down on the first day. So there was the, I think we talked about that there was a, a special event for the opening weekend, so the, or the, the launch weekend, there was a Saturday event. But I don't know, did you guys hear about, you, probably, you guys probably didn't, you guys are all the way over. Uh, like freaking 34 minutes from me, but there was this <laughs> huge accident with like 10 people involved with a fatality on oh, no. the basically the way to uh Redlands. So, you know, the canyon, you know, what I'm talking about. I mean, you know what I'm talking oh, about, yeah. Kyle. What but, day um, is it? A Saturday. Oh, no, oh, I didn't hear about, about that, that either. Yeah, so it was pretty nuts. I, I I drove down the hill. I went to go. I was getting all excited, and I, as I was going through Angela Soaks, uh, I had the fire truck came out and it had its lights on. So you know, I pulled over, and then we, in, me and this other car, ended up falling all the way down, and then we were just stuck in a line. And I sat there for about twenty minutes, and then they were just like, "All right, well, we don't know when we're going to open the road again, so everybody needs to just go the other way." I was like, "Oh, Jeez. that's Is that bad, huh?" Yeah. So you know, well, what's <laughs> interesting that kind of happened the day I got uh, my vasectomy. Oh yeah, uh, I was trying not to say that word, but it's out there. Um, yeah, <laughs> so my wife was going to come home early uh, so she could take me over there because you're not supposed to drive for whatever reason. No, you're not. Yeah, um, and I can tell you why now if you want to know. <laughs> send, I'm, send I'm pretty sure a, people could figure it out. Yeah, DM yeah. me. <laughs> um, but she called me like and we were we were like we're supposed to leave and it was getting close to the you know like the last minute and she calls me like hey the they just closed the off ramp like I had to get right back on the freeway and I have to go down to the next exit and I was like oh well I guess we can't go do the procedure bummer and because uh, I was trying to get out of it and and uh, so but we made it there on time but I've never heard of them just completely closing down an off ramp. Well, I guess for yeah, for an accident for sure right. when you can't get through. But yeah, that's yeah, I guess so. Scary. Yeah. Yeah, it is. But I mean, I didn't want to it, it it sucked for me, but at the same time, there was a bit there were some people that were struggling a bit more than I was. So I <laughs> I, I you know, I just I had to, I had to push my my selfishness aside. Yeah. But <laughs> Show a little bit of humility. He's like, it could, it, it could be worse. Right? It could be worse. Could be worse. <laughs> could be worse. At least I can go home right now. I just, just right. say that. <laughs> but anyways, so uh, when I did go to the, when I did go on the eighth, I talked to some people there, and there's a they have their own Discord at the board game shop. So I started just talking in the Discord, and so randomly on Tuesday, I just was like, hey, no Sunday actually. Sunday was just like I was just like, hey, anybody want to want to play a couple games and. So I went down there because the uh, the clerk there he just like was like yeah come down I'll play I'll play games with you so I just went down and played games with him for a while and then another person showed up and they were just they'd never even like they just bought a starter set so they just kind of sat down and played their starter set with me and stuff like that so and then I I went again today so it's been a, it's been interesting being able to go to my uh, local game shop to actually play you know card games so it's been it's been a fun experience and the game has actually been really fun as i was telling them earlier i had to put a card i had to put myself in card jail so i can't buy any more cards for a little while because i was going a little nuts 
um, with it. Well, it, it didn't help that I when I went in, I was talking to people there, and I decided to buy a box, which for those that don't know, a box is like 24 booster packs. So I decided to buy a box, and then they didn't have the accessories out yet, so I was just waiting and talking to people. And so as they brought the accessories out, when I went up to buy the accessories, I decided to just grab another box. So, oh boy, yeah, uh, yeah, that's a slippery slope, sir. That, <laughs> yeah, has, that so escalated it. quickly. <laughs> it really did. <laughs> well, I, I had to keep up because there was a guy. There was like a guy buying two cases, and you know all these. You know, you know. I felt I felt so far behind. But <laughs> see, <laughs> seriously though, I did ego. not. Know. I had to stop. Well, yeah, I had to stop. <laughs> on what like day day two of the game? Being yeah, out? people. Oh yeah, I was. T- there was. There's a. There's a couple people that are getting like up to twenty cases. So or twenty. Hey, boxes. hey, 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 Kyle. It's- you of all people know. If you get in on. You get in early enough. You get some of those early editions. Oh, Alan uh, yeah. may be sitting on some gold here. Like you, we, we might be the idiots. Alan might be on to something. We might need to go and buy some cards yeah. and, and stash these puppies away. That's true. And he might be, and you need to be handing them off to JJ in like, yeah. you know, twenty years. <laughs> He's gonna pay for Cause they ain't gonna have, Yeah, because they ain't gonna have no value with the next fifteen. <laughs> but twenty, thirty, you know what I'm saying? Like oh, my yeah, dad might need some old busted down. cards. You, you never know. <laughs> you never know. Exactly. Yeah. My dad, but, I've been joking with people that I'm like, I collect all these movies and games. Like, I can't wait to give it to my kids so they can throw it away. Because <laughs> that's <laughs> right in the dumpster. Yeah. Thanks, Dad. Great, Thanks for nothing. Great, Dad. Yeah. yeah. I don't have any money to give you, but I have a lot of collectibles. I got a bunch of Sega Saturn games. <laughs> a ton of Sega Saturn games. You like but clutter? Uh, you definitely like clutter. Here you go. <laughs> oh yeah. my. All for you. But so did anyways, you did you have any pools then? Any good pools? I feel what? like I had some some decent pools. I got I made I had almost enough to make two pretty solid decks. I didn't get any Darth Vaders or Lukes, which was which was sad because those are the really, really big ones. I mean, Darth Vader right now, I think he was going for sixty to seventy dollars on his own, loose. With uh, not even not even a holographic or anything, just just regular. Oh yeah, so, we're in the wrong business, Kyle. We gotta start getting all these cards <laughs> face out. Oh, I know about it, but Luke's roughly in the same the same boat. Didn't you hear how the slope? <laughs> the slope, the slope. It's, too, it's too much of an incline. I can't. I, I, I don't have the shoes, the proper equipment to not fall down. That slip slope, and so. roll down. Huh? <laughs> Yeah, he's like I'm not well equipped to resist that incline, sir. You've seen my 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 man cave. I have way too much stuff in there already. So uh, I got pretty good. I got a pretty good, decent Tarkin and a pretty decent uh, Sabine deck right now. So I'm sitting pretty good. Nice. Although I did get my butt kicked every time I play. I played today some, and there I won no matches. I think I, I was like zero and three. <laughs> oh. Felt felt real good. Felt real good. To yeah. <laughs> yeah, all the money. You, you, right. You really let us on. I I won no matches. I thought he was, I, I, won. I thought you were on a heater. I thought you were on a heater. I for wish. A yeah. So, Sunday I won three out of you know, I was I was a three for one, I guess. So I played four matches but won three. So that was is. pretty good. That's but great. then today was kind of rough because there was a guy who he the guy who bought the twenty about twenty boxes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, he 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 had a really powerful. That's how you win. He said, yeah. "I got this. I I got these cards. Activated. I I watched a YouTube video, and this is the deck I made from it." And I said, oh, "Okay, there's already, there's already videos." Oh yeah, there's oh, tons gosh. of videos. Yeah, we're missing out on see free content create. Oh my god, we're in the wrong business. <laughs> what are we yeah, doing I, here? I would, Fellas, what are we doing? Say, yeah, I, I'm, I don't know. I it's can't. Get, it's getting some you. good on this for sure. It always starts as like this is a great business idea, and then two weeks later, just <laughs> piles in my garage like golem. Get, get out of here! I'm collecting. <laughs> Don't put that dust on the card; it'll get us pretty scratchy. Where are, you? Where are your gloves? Put your gloves on. <laughs> but yeah, it's been, but it's been pretty fun. But uh, there's been something else, some other fun stuff. I think we've we, we've been talking a lot about Hell Divers. I actually picked it up. Uh, so yeah. me and my son were playing it with my son. Uh, my, me and my son were playing with my <laughs> brother. There we go. That makes sense. 
Okay. And yeah. uh, and Tomas for a bit, and now I'm here. And, and then Kyle, I think you messaged me. Was I it tried Saturday to get Saturday or Sunday? I mean, or was it today? It was- it was one of those days. It was not today. I did it was one of the days. Day. Basically, I got your message. But I think it was Sunday. <laughs> I want to say it was Sunday because I got your message, and I think I was already like heading down to go play Stars and Limits. Oh, so that, I was like, ah, that dang. Oh, well. Yeah, so. But I'll definitely <laughs> have to play with you. And now I know Chris is playing, too. So we got a couple oh, yeah. people. Yeah. yeah. You, you popped so up. You were on my friends list. So I just that's why I invited you. But I'll have to get yeah. uh I have to get your account, Chris, because you're you're playing yeah. play on there, PC. Is there, like, is there a yeah, on PC? Yeah. Is there like a friends list in the game too? So that way, yes, you can, yeah, there yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. everybody I know plays on PlayStation. So, what what level are you, Chris? How deep are you into? Because I have like a friend who's oh. like level. Or Tomas is like fifty. I think my, my oh my brother god, twelve. I'm yeah. six. I think I'm <laughs> so. Eleven. My son. Okay, good. An, so you're I'm like you're, 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 you're in the little sh- lower end. Good. Yeah. Okay. I'm a, I'm a yeah. filthy casual, so I have, I'm a level eleven. Yeah. Well, I think I think I'm like eight. I literally got it on Friday, just in go. time yeah. for recovery. So I yeah. There you go. I, I actually did remote play on my cell phone. That's how I played it through my PlayStation. Oh, that seems like you probably made a lot of people happy when you're playing that way. Oh yeah. I okay. So fun story. <laughs> um, it actually puts a little phone next to your name. Like, does it? Does it? Uh, like oh. Fortnite do that or something? Where it has like a little phone next to your name if you're playing on the phone? Yeah, because it's, it's like on the phone or like the switch or something like that. Instantly yeah. kick them from the team. Get out. Get technically, out. Technically, I'm not on the phone. It's going through the PlayStation. But anyways, uh-huh. even better. But <laughs> even better. I played most of the games pretty late, so it mm-hmm. actually worked out. Okay, yeah. but all right. So what happened? I was it was like second or third match in, and I played with another buddy of mine who has was been waiting like a couple. He bought it two weeks ago, and I was like, "Well, I bought mine on Amazon, but they're back ordered, so I got to wait for the physical copy." Um, so I finally got it. We played a game, and he hopped off. So I played like two more matches, and what happened is we finished the whole. Me and two other guys, we finished the whole thing. It was feeling good, and you know you're waiting for the the what's it called the ship to come get you and um uh we're fighting off the bugs the last you know the last horde of bugs that comes in to, to try to kill you last minute and apparently i don't know if it was me or the other guy but we killed we friendly fired one the third guy um right. and I, I don't know it, could, it probably was me because i didn't know what i was doing <laughs> um and that guy and I then many we, teammates no- we immediately hop on the ship without uh. reviving him yeah, <laughs> he was so pissed. He's like, what? We Why? Immediately left him behind. Immediately. Yeah, because you get, more, so you get more points. You do get more points, but whatever. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm 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 definitely the filthy casual in that sense too, because I don't care. Yeah. I was like, whatever. Well, we finished the match, and I didn't know. Like, I had no idea. Yeah. And so he he wasn't talking the whole time, and so he finally gets his mic on he and got goes on to get bit to yell at you yeah he's like, I, <laughs> he's like he was like muttering something i'm like i don't even know what's going on and we we finally load back into the ship he's like well it won't let me report you for killing me but i'm out of here i was like what report I don't- you for ki- <laughs> dude i was- killed <laughs> i didn't know there was friendly fire me and my son did like we so we both did the little boot camp thing or whatever preemptively but then we did our first mission together uh, nice. there's like a, like a tutorial mission or something. I think we did and yeah. we were going through it and yeah, I accidentally killed him because I didn't know that you could kill <laughs> each other. I wasn't, I, I guess they said it earlier. Somebody said they do say it, but I didn't think, I yeah. guess I didn't take it literally, whatever it was, I didn't take it literally. Cause I was like, oh, okay, whatever. There's lots there's of the whole stuff game happening. It's, yeah. They're yeah, jokes the whole time. Cheek. Uh, so I was just like, whatever. And then I just like, was just mowing some, uh, uh, bugs down. And my son kind of sidesteps in front of me, and then he just collapses. Like, oh, oh, okay. Well, I guess you're dead now. <laughs> that is a, oops. Get up, you lazy bum! What are you doing? <laughs> no, no, no. Just call for another reinforcement. They'll just send another. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I do love that. There's friendly fire. Like at first, I, was, I that, that whole incident, I like it too. Kinda, mm-hmm. It kind of was like, oh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but that's because it. that's that's stupid, anyways. It's there. It's there because it adds. I think I don't know. It adds a bit of silliness to it, but it also does add uh, a, a a bit more challenge in a way. 
you got to avoid oh, it, especially if you're if you're like doing those big uh yep. Strategies and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, stratagems and stuff like that. Or the walker, uh, really you call down the the mech. If you call See, that the mech around. wasn't Man. there when I played. That's new. That oh, just dude. came out. Yeah, it's, the mech is probably within the last so week good. or so. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad. I think I picked it up at the right time because once that came down, I was like, "Oh, this is." I'm in. Yeah, they did. Like, a, <laughs> they do a really this. good job with that with that release too, because they were they were hinting at it for a while. Like there were some mechs that were popping up in the world in the worlds so that people could see and things like that. Like you couldn't use them, but it was teasing them, and then they just then they dropped them. So yeah. I thought that was really cool. Just, you just use it, and you can mow down this everything. Is, this is also the first game I've heard of that actually has a game master, which is something I've never I haven't really heard in a video game in quite a long time, where they have somebody who's technically in charge of the world so they pay attention to what people oh. say and they can change things on a whim so essentially what i've heard is that they've people are complaining that something was too easy and so like randomly at night they did a, a quick fix and added some more waves to whatever mission it was oh, so it's it's a it's a, a different thing that i've never even like heard of before which is pretty yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're kind of running it like a like a worldwide D and D. Like there's exactly. a like said, dungeon master. It's like, oh, I, this person obviously is the 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 head honcho, but he has the creative ability to change the way the game's going to play out as it's happening, depending on every choice that the people the people are making. So that's mm-hmm. exactly what happened. Like that's he wild. said, someone he hopped in on Twitter. They pushed him some stuff like they were talking about these missions were being way too easy. And he was like, oh, yeah. All right. Dungeon <laughs> master, go to work. And all of a sudden right. there is like twice as many bugs and different spawns and things were happening because some people were saying the missions are starting to become predictable. So he started, oh. they started to change some stuff up. Right. They're like, oh, we know bugs are going to come from this way. Bugs are going to be that way. There's only like 10 bugs. Then we move Dude, to the that, next spawn. So they changed great. it all up. That yeah. is fantastic. Like they're yeah. doing so many things right. Mm-hmm. And it it's it's really refreshing because I, I'm not a big multiplayer online multiplayer fan, um, but the, well, one thing they've said is that they have no plans to do PvP, which is great no. because mm-hmm. I I know Chris, you love it. That's a majority of what you stream. Uh, I just can't get into it as much. Yeah, and and so the PVE stuff though I love, and they're just they're focusing on it and. I didn't even know that they're doing that. That's great. Yeah. Well, and throwing like, mechs in again, just, yeah. just so everyone hears it. There's a, it's there's pri- a mech suit you can get. <laughs> it's primarily the reason why I'm really not, I, I wanted to be more excited for battlefront uh, collection, classic collection, but I can't see a reason why I'd want to play it right now. Like hell divers yeah. is going to scratch yeah. that itch anyways. So there's like, it's not star Wars, which I won't lie. I am fantasizing about a star wars themed game like that but with battle droids or something that would be really cool oh man but oh I, yeah that would be dope. Uh, i'd probably never happen but it'd be really cool i do like the starship <laughs> through troopers theme it is i do love that movie as well so right. it is it is a fun theme <laughs> but yeah now that battlefront that once once that once battlefront was not crossplay i was done i kind of like backed out i was like i want to play yeah. this but i don't think i care enough so now it's just now it's just Hell Divers. So I'm excited to play more Hell Divers. Yeah, man. Again, yeah, the the cross play you could play on whatever. I'm surprised it's not just, on Xbox. Is Xbox going to get it? I really hope they do. They may not because of you know it being published by PlayStation. But I hope they get it. I want I think them to get it. If PlayStation gets their heads out of their own butts, they. Um, so the answer is no. They will. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to yeah, happen. I, I'm I'm sure Xbox is over there like, hey, we're giving you uh we're giving you all our freebie games. So like, yeah, but I it's hope, like bottom. It's tier. annoying because so I was I, I say I think I was talking earlier, I went to Star Wars Land and I was talking to my buddy or my brother in law, uh, who's also my buddy. So we were talking a lot about Star Wars and stuff and Helldivers came up and I was like, yeah, it's on everything. And then I had to like retrace myself. I was like, wait a minute. And I started looking it up. I was like, okay, well, it's not on Xbox. The one thing you play on. So, uh, <laughs> sorry. It's not that great, actually. <laughs> it's actually pretty. It's not very fun <laughs> at all. Terrible. I don't know. Yeah, awful. Hate it. Two <laughs> thumbs down. 
I'm actually gonna I, be stalling when I get home. <laughs> I am ready for the the Switch release, though. Uh, oh, here I, we go. I just, there's no, there's way, no though. way. There's no way. The I mean, would technically, they could do cloud play or whatever. <laughs> like the, the, the there oh. have some other games that do cloud play. I mean, you were game's technically doing cloud play on your phone. This so. is true. The game's too violent, though. They're not gonna Kinda. take it. That's true. It, I, I mean, think Resident looks, Evil was on there. I mean, Resident it, Evil games. It looks too uh, good. Six, it would be sevens on there as a streaming game. They would have to bring like down render it so so badly. It would look it would look like a yeah. PS2 game. I feel like yeah. if they could put it on Switch, they'd put it on PS4. I mean, it, it, like why is it not on PS4? There's just That's, it's just more people. I think it just I think it's that game. It's they're finally like, yeah, we're not doing we're not going back anymore. We want to push the current gen. Which is good. Yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 I get I, that. <laughs> and we got to be close to our next gen too, right? I think it's they like, said that like, we're at midlife. We're at midlife of PlayStation 5. Our, our next which gen is, has to be coming up soon. Which is wild because I just got the Series X. It's No, 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 no. It's not that you guys take it all back. You're lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, they. It's, we were talking about it. They've already been talking about that and they were people were complaining it's like dude it took us forever to even get the playstation 5 and you're already yeah. talking about i can't even from see it. they're That's taking true. so long to make games and stuff for the ps5 as it is i mean in the ps5 it's, it's super quiet i've it's got great load times i mean what else like does it need to do at this point i feel like uh, i don't know maybe maybe like maybe breakfast. people could say that at <laughs> every generation but I think we are at the point like the graphics are not that much better than PS4. I will sit here and say that the load yeah. times are a hell of a lot better. They're a little bit better graphically, but it's not much better. Like what? What's the next step? <laughs> you know, I, I don't know. I don't like I said, I'm with you. I don't know. Like at yeah. that point, just might as well just start handing out computers like everyone just go yeah. PC. Exactly. Mm. That's pretty much what it feels like it's going to be. That's a good point. Uh, because you're, whatever. you're getting to that threshold because systems now are like 500 a low-end pc is like seven to eight right like mm-hmm. so you can get a decent pe at, a pc at eight so the next system has to stay the same but if you put more stuff to make it better that price range has to go up and then you're encroaching on low-end pc so you might as well just pick up a computer at that point and sony can't do that yeah. again they can't they can't increase the price that much i mean i don't think i don't think they can I mean, it would. I know Xbox is kind of flirting with the idea if even consoles are needed anymore. That's a whole thing. But uh, I don't True. think. I don't think like if they raise the price too much, I feel like Xbox would have a perfect chance to bring people back because that's exactly what they would be repeat, literally repeating what they did before. So right, I don't think yeah. it's possible. And, they got to keep it at that price range. And the crazy thing is, Nintendo's still sitting there with the Switch. Like, yep, yeah, you guys can do whatever you want. We're gonna yeah. run this. We're gonna run this thing to the ground. We're and the gonna... Switch Two, like my brother in law is super excited about the Switch Two, but even the Switch Two, I mean, like it's it's not gonna. I don't think it's gonna be as powerful as people think it's gonna be. It's definitely gonna be better than the P, the Switch One, but it's not gonna be a PS Five. Yeah, I I don't even no. know if it'll be as powerful as a PS Four. To be completely honest, but that's just but me. My thing is like like you were saying the PlayStation. Like I don't Nintendo doesn't even need to do so no. pretty much more. Like Zelda was the perfect game right mm-hmm. they've done it that's it like you can just keep making games for the the first switch and i'd be happy they just keep making those games and i'm fine but something else you mentioned is that it does take five plus years to make a zelda now yeah. so mm-hmm. that's that's too long that's a long time <laughs> that's too much the entire, the entire we use lifetime to make that zelda the first breath of the wild <laughs> they were trying to make it for the wii u but they missed the wii u they're like ah, oh. <laughs> yeah, technically, huh? Next one, next one. Oh, next one. yeah, because uh, the Breath of the Wild was on the Wii U. I, I, man, that's that's yeah. crazy to think about. My it son got itself. it for the Wii U because I, I just I didn't want to get a Switch right away. So uh, since it came out as a launch title, so I ended up getting my son Breath of the Wild for the Wii U. So we actually have it for the Wii U. It's Oof. worth a lot of money, right, Kyle? You'd know, you know, the Wii it, U is, Switch it is not Wii U. <laughs> it's it is not the only thing <laughs> worth ah, money shucks. on the Wii U is the ones they didn't port, and there's like four left. So they did they ported everything to the Switch, and there's so like, like four. Twi- they didn't. I bet you Twilight Princess and Wind Waker is still probably pretty high. Yep, yep. Oh, very much so. 
and like the Wario game of Wario games over a hundred bucks. And uh, what? one of the one of the Xenoblades that they, that they never ported as as well. Yeah. Oh, the Xeno put that one with the mech on it. Yeah. That yeah. One. So, X, hey, something uh, like that. Yeah. Full circle back to the mechs. It's all back to mechs and hell divers. <laughs> mech and hell divers. <laughs> Xenoblade, the first one, first Xenoblade for the no, Wii no, 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 for Wii. Yeah, the first, first one was on Wii, Wii, and then I think the <laughs> second one was called Chronicles. Chronicles, X. Chronicles X. Yeah, and that one was on the Wii U, right? But there that was, was a Xenoblade yeah. two as well, wasn't I there? I have There's three. That. I think I have that game. Like, I thought there was Wii four. Or, what on I'm the Wii U? Sure I ha- I'm pretty sure I have that. I'm well, like give it to me. Percent sure <laughs> I have it. Give Sell it. <laughs> I would have uh, to check. But I'm, pretty sure, wasn't I'm, pretty sure, yeah. I'm pretty sure I have that game. There like are, if I were to look under my bed, I, I probably have it. It's in a well, blue case, right? It should be blue case. They're all blue, yeah. Yeah, I, I think I have it. I'm not going to lie to you. I think it's, I think it's around 60 bucks. Ooh. So, if not more. Get a full price. refund. Let's go, baby. Right? Yeah, full <laughs> price. Full price. <laughs> so, they, so there's three There's three mainline Xenoblades, and then there's that one, and there's a couple... Well, there's a bunch of DLC that you can get for it. So, and it's all on Switch except for that one. So interesting. Yeah, so that was one um, of the few games that I got on the Wii U. I legitimately bought the Wii U only for the Monster Hunter, like strictly for oh, the yeah. Monster Hunter. And then yeah. for some reason, I bought the Xenoblade. I don't know what what the reason was for. Uh, there's a mech then. on the cover. That's why you bought it. <laughs> oh, you know what? It was the mech. Honestly, I remember that now. <laughs> Something about I, something about robots, man, just gets me going. It's, yeah, it's robots that you control. I mean, my, I put on the transform the old school Transformers movie today for just like a minute, and my son was like, he was in another, he was in the world. I had to like snap him out, like JJ, c- uh, come back, come back to me. Cars, man, cars, Tra- yeah, cars, trans- yeah, robots, and that transform in the vehicles. He's like, yeah, I've. Why have you not shown this to me before? He was a little mad. <laughs> we'll talk about this later, but I'm enjoying this. Yeah, <laughs> let me finish this. So uh, it's a it's a it's a great world to get into. I started watching uh, Gundam, uh, Gundam Unicorn. Yeah, yeah you were called. talking about that before. Yeah, yeah. Only Vip in yet? Robots. I need a no. Zoid. Vip. <laughs> oh, it's, <laughs> Zoids, Zoids, man. Oh, Zoids. wow. Talk that's 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 there was robots. a guy a i know there was a guy that i was following on i was watching on tiktok for a while and it was fascinating that he had this he had this massive zoid collection like a, and there was just they were all set up in this giant battle map and oh. so every to every tiktok he would bring out another one and explain like everything about that specific zoid and i was pretty fascinated for a bit because i was like this is incredible oh, yeah. i don't know what yeah. this is Send the link, please. Send the link. <laughs> right? Send me to the TikTok shop. Let me pick one up, please. I, I am interested. You, you had me. A, you, you had me a Zoid. Zoid. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, uh, it feels like we. I mean, now that not, not to bring us on a bad note, but I think uh, everybody is kind of heard about uh, Akira Toriyama and his passing on the first of this month so um yeah i just yeah, bring it down yeah. don't i i just did that 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 hurt just saying mm. that right there uh, well uh, i mean we could celebrate the things he did and the joy he true. brought there, to not the, the news to the power, world but as you if you don't know i'm assuming everybody who's watches is listens to us know uh he was the creator of dragon ball z and, and dragon ball the whole dragon ball yeah i don't know what you call it lots of things there's lots of dragon ball stuff um dragon ball universe yeah we all have a pretty pretty heavy history in it uh i know i was we both me i think me and kyle started watching it around the same time on tsunami and yeah. it just kind of chased I, us throughout i think <laughs> the rest of our, our lives our buddy uh randall yeah uh, he's got he, us into it huh he was yeah he's to blame for the years the, <laughs> the addiction i still have um but yeah i remember we used to uh, we used to pick characters and we'd go outside afterwards and you always picked Vegeta, you know, and I, I got, and then Randall would pick Goku. So I either had to be Piccolo or Krillin and, uh, Sheesh. yeah, I was like, well, I'm not a, a <laughs> short person, so I guess I'll be Piccolo. 
Hey man, Piccolo got a huge buff recently. All right, this man. Yeah, he did. They they, he, they had to close the gap, and they did a very good job. Did you finally watch that? Never watch watched it. I don't. Oh. I still don't watch it. But, but I know. But I've it. learned. But I've learned that he he they were able to put some respect on my boy's name and yeah, allow him to close the gap a little bit. Just a little bit. Well, and then immediately. Everyone Go else on. took off. Yeah, Gohan, Gohan took goes. off. Well, Go- only Gohan so far, right? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, we'll find where out. all the power levels are. But either way, yes, he is he a lot more powerful than he was. So yeah, I think For so. Sure. Before we move off that that topic, there, uh, I think his Gohan's recent transformation, the hair looks goofy. I think it's yeah. I mean, they've had a lot of goofy transformations. It's extremely. Okay. It's <laughs> like I know people always bring up Super, you know, Super Saiyan three because Super Saiyan three banana hair. It's got that because I whenever you say Gohan's hair was extremely long, in that case it was kind of ridiculous. Uh, people always keep bringing up Super Saiyan three, mm-hmm. but uh, yeah, I, it just doesn't. It looks weird. It does look really weird. I understand what they're trying to do. They it, it was a really cool scene in the movie. But yeah, when you just see a still cool. of the character alone, yeah, it does kind of look a yeah. little. Yeah, I much. saw. I found a statue of it, and I was like, "Oh, yeah. that looks cool." And then you turn it to the side, and you're like, "Oh, oh my, why?" <laughs> <Where's> that? <laughs> I'm gonna have to cut out a piece of the wall just to fit him on the shelf. <laughs> fit him on the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that bad, but I just thought it was a little goofy. Like, all right, there's like they've kind of reached a limit of what they can do with the hair. There's only so many colors. Yeah. And lengths. I mean, just get silly. Well, I do love the Boo Saga. Like, I mean, I get. I always understand when they, when, when, when it was, you know, said that uh, I was supposed to end at the end of Cell Saga. It always kind of makes sense. Like right around there, it's supposed to be mm-hmm. the end of uh, Dragon Ball Z. Oh, yeah. But even or like even, the end of Boo was so perfect too. But even then, yeah, obviously even, they could have stopped there. If you look there. at it, it makes it, it makes sense at, to end it after Frieza. Right, there's a couple spots where like you could just leave it yeah. there. Goku dies a hero, and it's a great Android, story. Yeah, I, but the Android wrong. saga is just so good, though. It's like, I, that, I, that's I understand not what, what you're saying. saying. Yeah. I know what you're saying, but <laughs> so hear me out. It's just I'm not so saying it's good, bad, though. But... <laughs> like, uh, I I can't imagine Dragon Ball without the Android saga. Maybe it's just because uh, right. I don't know. The Android saga is just so well, fantastic. If you uh, you can because but I can was, understand it. Yeah. There was a time. When, yeah, because we all followed it together it's growing true. up. Yeah. There was a time we when that's all it. you knew. You knew there was something coming, but you remember the time when it was only the we, Frieza saga. We did. <laughs> I still remember that PlayStation game, that Dragon Ball PlayStation game with all the GT characters. And we're like, who are these oh, people? And yeah. Why? <laughs> what who is happening you? right now? <laughs> well, we, in, we got an import game, Chris, where we yeah. imported it from Japan, and it was the GT game, and they hadn't even whispered GT in America yet. So we're like, I guess that's Goku. Why is he a kid? <laughs> like, why? What? What happened there? Oh, that's like that new one they're bringing out too, right? Where they're, everyone's a, where uh, they, Daima. He, I think it's what it's called, right? Dragon Ball. I think it's yeah, yeah. I'm not talking yeah. about yeah, yeah. Like, what? Why are we? Why do we keep doing that? Why do we rehash the their kids again? Like, I don't. I I don't understand. That, I don't understand it, man. So I know Daima was was heavily like that was it was it was uh, Toriyama's project. Like he really pushed this one. So I'm curious to see why they went that went that direction. And so we won't know until it comes out. Well, uh, yeah, I think you know we I, were talking yeah. about. Um, I'm gonna. It's a long answer to that question, Chris. Yeah. So we <laughs> talked. Here we, we go. Talked about uh, watching. Yeah, sit back, buckle up. <laughs> we talked about watching some movies or shows over the weekend because we were gonna, you know, talk about it on the on this cast. And I watched um, a couple of the first movies, um, Dead Zone. I watched, and then just the other night, I watched The World's Strongest. I don't know if you guys have seen Ooh, that one. Yeah, um, that's the one. Not with a the, bit. That's the that's yeah. one of the ones I haven't watched as much too. That was with like the, the first one, right? First yeah. movie. Uh, Dead Zone was the very first one, and then it was okay. Neither. I think you're right. Yeah, that that's with Garlic Junior. Uh, but the one I'm talking oh, about, is with... it's not Garlic Junior, right? Is <laughs> he's technically the dad of Garlic Junior? That, that's a whole thing. Continue. Sorry, is it? No, because he comes back. <laughs> I, in the it was, show. I swear it's the 
I thought it was the. No, I think you're right. I think it's right. He does come back the first time to revenge them, and the in the show he comes back again, and he's already immortal, zone, and he's already he's... immortal. Yeah, yeah. Okay, never mind. you're right. I that so, was weird. Yep, the whole thing. Keep going. It, anyways, yeah, that's like the the black sheep of the Dragon Ball world. Nobody talks about that saga. So, anyways, the world's strongest. Um, the saga. animation was really well done. Mm-hmm. Um, but they also had like just a lot of martial arts fighting. Like it's kind of like watching a Jackie yeah. Chan movie at that mm-hmm. point. Um, and I think a lot of the Dragon Ball without the Z focused on that. Mean? And you know, they said um Akira Toriyama said it was he was influenced by Jackie Chan to make mm-hmm. Dragon Ball. And so there's a lot of that like fun adventure and martial arts stuff in that old original stuff and so and you know and they got away with it super is just about power levels and how hard you can get punched and so i think my guess is he wants to go back to that like adventure fun martial arts because even if you look at the pictures and for daima he has this bow staff back and they're kids again so my guess is he wants to be he's going back towards that like original kind of i think feel yeah i get what i get yeah i get that i kind of wish they would just do more with goten and trunks i mean i feel like they could have just done so much more with a spinoff yeah something instead of making everybody kids again it just seemed a little weird choice i i agree i think every character should get a spinoff and that's kind of where i was at too is that why do we have to make goku and vegeta come back when they have kids they have sons they have sons that have their own powers mm-hmm. they can have their own adventures like these are characters that can be developed don't get me wrong like we love our vegeta we love our, our goku but you don't have <laughs> to bring you don't you, you don't have to make them yeah. kids when they have kids they both of them have like two mm-hmm. sons each like they have kids and not to mention go uh, gohan has his his daughter like they have they have there's kids there are saiyan kids out there that can have their own adventures aside their parents you know what i mean like What's going on here? Well, yeah. I'll say it again, Chris. You got to watch the Dragon Ball Superhero because there you go. There, yeah. Goku and Vegeta are in it, but barely, and yeah, they're not. They're not They're part of the notes. story. They really are side notes. So I think, at least with that movie, they mm-hmm. they were on the same page with us, and that's why I love that movie so much. I don't think it's the best movie, but it's finally a story where like Piccolo's like one of the main characters. And he yeah. and they don't just fight. They do like he kind of sleuths around. He goes like undercover, kind of <laughs> stuff. And it's like, mm-hmm. yeah, give us more of that. Like, I'm sure that if they kept doing that stuff, we would get some awesome, awesome stories I mean, out of it. Yeah, I totally agree. I want some more stories with side characters. I I feel like they have been literally pushed aside uh, pretty heavily. Yeah, so too much. It's yeah. Nice. yeah, so it really would be nice to get some more. I mean, some more with them. <laughs> It's like Yamcha? Star Wars effect. It's the freaking Skywalker uh, freaking oh. yeah. storylines. Like, can we get away from that, please? There's Not so much other things. everything needs to connect to Exactly. Skywalkers. Exactly. <laughs> Not everything needs to connect to Goku and Vegeta. Like, we get it, but come on. You've developed this universe that's drawn so many people in for generations. Let's see the rest of it, please. Please, yeah. please, please. Yeah, I agree. I think we're all on the same page there. Mm-hmm. For sure. I mean, so I'll say this, too. My other... My my number one favorite movie is Bojack, Dragon Ball Z Bojack, where uh, Goku's just dead the whole time, and, and he's not he's in it. He's watching a tournament from heaven with um with King Kai, but uh so that's my favorite movie because it's Gohan. Gohan's the main character, like like just like you guys are saying, like finally, like somebody mm-hmm. has an adventure and a well, fight on his own, and Goku still. He literally breaks the rules of heaven in the middle of the fight to help Gohan and punches someone yeah. like as a ghost. It's like, what Goku, get out of here. Isn't it, it technically a <laughs> Brawly <laughs> 2 also doesn't have a go doesn't have much of Goku either, right? That one's technically also yeah, actually, actually there's, Gohan. He's not even more so. Like they don't even he <laughs> he does show they up do as the like a ghost command again. at the end. Yeah, it's <laughs> like a ghost command at the end. Ghost dad needs to come help. I do. I like that one a lot too. 
It's like the Luke Skywalker. I'm telling you that the Ghost Walker is like, what are you like? What are you showing up for, man? It's not about you. Go away. Yeah, yeah. Stop. Go, go away. Stop. Like we get it, but go away. I was enjoying this movie. <laughs> what about what about you guys? What do you have? Uh, well, I know Alan. You said you had. Some- I I watched I watched uh, Tree of Might because I have always liked that one. Uh, I've always thought that was a fun one because it has the Z fighters. It's got the Z fighters. I I think Turles is an actually an interesting character. It was nice to see another. At the time, it was like that was what third class Saiyans were supposed to look like. Then obviously they pulled off of that quite a bit. But oh, yeah. uh, he was. An, I feel like he was an interesting character. Uh, and then I also watched um, the special, the Trunks special, the uh, history of Trunks. Called? History of Trunks. Yeah, I watched that one too. That one's. I like that. I always liked that one a lot because it puts. It's again, Goku is not there because he's dead. Uh, and it's Trunks and Gohan, and I feel like that they're in like a weird, a post-apocalyptic world, which is yeah, pretty fun. It's a, it's actually really, it's actually. I was watching it and I was really surprised how horrifying they make Android eighteen, <laughs> seventeen, and eighteen. I was like, wow, they really, they're really ramping up the uh, the mindless murder, and just like when Trunks is running around in that warehouse. Like try oh, to yeah. hide from them, and they just keep popping up everywhere and just saying things at them. Good, play, they're playing with them. I was like, "Dang, they really, they really put the like." When Trunks says it in the the show, when he talks about how terrifying they are, well, that's why because <laughs> they were terrifying. Yeah, that, that was a good, really good storyline where you actually get mm-hmm. to see because you know he comes back or uh, yeah, he comes into the past, back yeah, to the future, and then. Uh, <laughs> he just you know he tells everyone like it's so bad and you're like okay, i guess whatever you know and then you finally what, watch it, it. Yeah, it, doesn't, yeah. it doesn't seem that it doesn't even, seem that bad like what are you yeah. talking about <laughs> even when the androids come out too they're not they're not they don't seem nearly as evil like they're not good characters by any means but compared to the ones from that movie yeah they're definitely toned down a little bit right and they the, he does rec- he does say that too he does he does say something along the lines that they're they're not the same like there's right. there's differences because uh, yeah because so, you messed up the timeline so it's different because mm-hmm. that's uh, a new branching timeline yeah yeah not the same uh, not the same same that <laughs> <laughs> that's the one with one arm Gohan right he had lost yeah, an arm yeah yeah where he loses an arm so he, but he was still Super Saiyan. Yep. Right. And he That's, still couldn't. Yeah, beat him. He, he was Super Saiyan. He was a, a lot of people consider that being to one of the best Gohans because he's an adult. Uh, he's got a lot of trauma, and he's just toughing it out. And he's training uh, Trunks. He's more of a. I mean, he was forced to keep fighting. He right, wasn't yeah. allowed to stop. So the potential. It's an interesting concept. Yeah. Was reached a little bit. My, so this came up as I was going through a lot of social media regarding Dragon Ball. And especially that mm-hmm. one came up. Why didn't Bulma give him like a like a android arm or a cyborg arm? Because well, it kind of happens lost- too fast. Yeah, I think it just. I mean, she probably could have, but like he loses his arm. She built a time then- machine. She could build an arm. <laughs> yeah, you know what? The way you put that out, you like, yeah, know. like it's yeah. like you you had time. Yeah, like she had she had to, like just give the man an arm, like hold and on, make it on. like a blade. Like you had, you had time. Yeah, like what do you like? What are we doing? What well, the I don't think the time machine was done yet. I think that they like at the end of the special, they say that we're going to finish the time machine. So I don't yeah. think it was done yet. I think he, yeah, he because Gohan dies in that movie. Yes, he does die. Yeah. yeah. Well, but what about you, Chris? What what do you remember? Any movies or any 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 particular parts of Dragon Ball you're thinking about? Um, believe it or not, like. I have not seen many of the the movies, and I can't remember many. The last one I think I saw was the the Brawly movie. Uh, but yeah, as you yeah. guys are talking, I'm I have the stream up, and I'm watching on YouTube some of like the top moments, and I'm looking at some of the stuff that's happened. I'm like, man, there's a lot of cool stuff that's happened in in Dragon Ball, right? Mm-hmm. Like a lot of these cool things where, uh, like the first time they did the like the energy clash, like I didn't realize that that was one of those first instances where Toriyama does something different in animation where just that energy blast clashing was like so pivotal in that type of of animation right like that was something that wasn't seen before right so I'm I'm listening to the guy talk about it and I'm like oh I didn't even think about it that way like like 
the, we see the energy clash all the time now. And when we were kids, we saw it like that's the coolest thing ever. But so when you cool. put it, yeah, but when you put it in the timeline of what animation was, what anime was to us, especially in the West Coast, it's like that was like top tier. Like, holy crap. Like, that's the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Like, I never thought of something of that that power struggle, right? Like we're seeing a literal visual power struggle as the beams, you know, clashing with each other and then one eventually overpowering each other, you know, leading into what was eventually the, what the father, son, Kamehameha, like things like that. Like it's just going through all the cool little tidbits of history that you don't think about. And like the power up, the, the ultra instinct situation where Frieza finally goes Frieza gold. It's like, Oh yeah. Like there's a lot of cool, little nuances in the show that happened but the season not the season i'm sorry the universe is so stretched out it started yeah. in 93 and it's freaking 2018 was super like it's so yeah. stretched out so there's so many key moments that happen in so many different timelines how you guys are talking about the movies the different the show arcs the different spinoffs the the gts the non cannons the cannons you're like holy crap there's a lot of major moments that this guy put into animation and really push the envelope of what anime could be or should be. Mm-hmm. So it's it's just it's just cool. Like as you guys are talking about it, I'm I'm you're refreshing my memory and I'm watching these YouTube videos and like they're talking about the first fusion. You're like like you'd even think about not just oh, my yeah. favorite character, but my favorite Fusion. character is becoming one and just being completely broken for no reason. <laughs> yeah. Could, <laughs> right. Could, like, you know what I mean? Like, you're just completely yeah. broken. Like, you're absolutely the most broken. Like, you're, you're screaming to break time and space to get out of the hyperbolic. Like, you're just screaming. Like, that's that's the type oh, of power level. That, you yeah. That's, yeah. yeah. Like, you're like, what is going on? And then Gotenks mim- uh, mimics it. It's like, what the <laughs> heck? Like, what are we doing here? Like, how? Like, what are our limits? And we're thinking like Boo Saga, like you said, it was never supposed to happen. We were never supposed to be this far. We're not our power levels aren't even supposed to be imagined like we're going this far. Cause we used to do the stupid scouters. The scouters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they, like, oh, yeah. Like yeah. Scouters. And it so, got to the point to where it got so popular, like we have to throw these out. Like we can't do scouters anymore. We have to throw them out. Like we have yeah. to. I, I remember I sense, actually you know. read I read the manga, I forget what one of the cell I think when the cell saga started. He yeah. has he has a note. Akira Toriyama wrote in it like, "Hey, look, I know we've been doing power levels, but if we want to continue the story, I just I can't do it anymore because it just doesn't make sense." So, uh, yeah. just going forward, like I remember reading that note and I was like, "Oh, okay, that makes sense." Like he's like, "Yeah, we just we can't be concerned. It just doesn't make sense anymore." So, <laughs> no more power levels. <laughs> yeah, just you were saying that, Chris, and I. I it's hard to. You know, we didn't start watching it until like what, probably ninety nine, maybe ninety eight, mm-hmm. right? or did we start right when uh, it came out ninety six? A little bit earlier, but yeah. Around still, it came out in eighty nine. Like I always forget how old like Dragon Ball Z actually is because mm-hmm. it didn't come out here until uh, what seven years after it was already. I think right. it was already finished in Japan at that point. Uh, Z was at least when it started coming out here. So. Yeah. That yeah, a lot of that that first stuff. That's yeah, that was must have been phenomenal. Because when we were watching it, there was already other animes on at the same time. Like yeah. there was, they weren't doing oh, yeah. this exact same stuff, but they were in the same you know field. So yeah. it wasn't the only one. But that time in you know when it where it came out in Japan, it probably was one of the only ones doing that, which is why it's huge still. I mean. <clears throat> So. I remember uh, discovering that when I think you had like a Piccolo action figure mm-hmm. and, and you know, it was, this was mid to late nineties. And I remember looking at the copyright on it and it said 1989. I was like, hold up. <laughs> what? 1989? <laughs> like, well, no, 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 no. You, this, is, <laughs> this is a misprint. Uh, this, this, this episode came out last week. I don't know how you got this figure out <laughs> 10 years before. Um, and then, you know, cause we didn't have Someone's the internet fired. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, there's so many, like, I didn't even think about that going through all the moments of, yeah. of it all. And, and, and the influence it has on current on everything anime and pop culture in everything. general. Yeah. Yeah. Like just everything. Yeah. So it, it's just, you guys are talking about these movies and I'm like, you're, how you're rattling off movies I've never even heard of, but I'm not surprised <laughs> that they exist. 
We're talking about characters like Garlic Jr. I'm like, dude, you're talking about people I forgot about. Then you're talking <laughs> GT, which is this whole other world that we were living in to like fill the void of like where did our clan like, tour. Yeah, like where did like where did our where did our hero go? Uh, Toriyama, where are you? Like, come back. Like, this is what happens when you leave your child unattended. Like, please come <laughs> back, sir. Like, what is happening? Yeah. Right. That's basically why he came back. He's like, yeah, I can't let this be the end all. Like, the, you're not trashing <laughs> my hard work. Like, this is not it. Like, we're not we're not accepting this to be the end all be all. Yeah. And then they do the what is it? What was the other one that was like kind of GTA? Was the to evolution me? wasn't the evolution movie was what 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 brought uh, him back. Yeah, yeah, that was that, that, that was, was the one that brought him back because he lost control of the property entirely. Like GT, he had some part in, but it was very minor. He did a lot of notes and a lot of like talking back and forth, but he didn't. He wasn't that extremely hands on like he was with Z. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Evolution, I think, just like oh. that can't be the la- that was it. That was like yeah, this can't be the last Dragon Ball that came out. <laughs> is Evolution? No, this is not where it ends. That was. <laughs> That one was so bad. I've told this story before, and I'll tell I it again. In line. I remember standing in line for that one. I, well, I'm <laughs> I think sorry. You were there too. I, well, were you, were you there? Or was I not? Were you I, not there? I don't know. I was not standing in line. But what happened to oh, me was before the movie started, some guy walked in and said, "This movie's like," and made an announcement in the theater. Mm-hmm. This movie sucks. It is not worth your time. Go get a refund now. I'm warning you now. Go get a refund. I was, and I never, that's never happened before or since I've seen a movie. And I should have listened. I should have taken it <laughs> his advice and gotten my money back because that movie is terrible. It's so bad. It's not even a good movie. Like, if mm-hmm. you take out the, like, oh, let's just like pretend what, it's not Dragon Ball. Yeah, it's still awful. That's what, I think that's what Tomas said about Avatar was like, if it wasn't, if it didn't have the anime, you know, the, the animated series that it was taking in for, you know, it's it's story from, it would be good on its own. But because well, I have it in the back of my head all the time, I can't, no, it's not as good, but this I'm is, so, yeah, you're right. Yeah. yeah. This is just it, bad it, on it all doesn't accounts. matter. It didn't yeah. matter, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It don't make no sense. I, I forgot about that. They even made a video game for that. I forgot. They did. Mm. I've heard the kids pretty good. I don't know when I've watched like PSP things. Is it oh like gosh. is it like the Street Fighter <laughs> movie? The I game? think Super so. Saiyan yeah. Four. What was that? Super Saiyan Four. Oh. Yeah, the one red of the monkey. coolest looking transformations. Oh, yeah. yeah. What man? That's um, GT. Yeah, that was. That was that's it's a horror. really cool. I feel like it's a really cool concept. It actually, I I thought it was really cool because it's a transformation. It also comes back to the Uzu. Which is awesome, the the giant monkey. Yep, and yeah, then they just changed hair super, colors in yeah, Super, which yeah, is like, yeah. eh, I mean, blue's yeah. cool, but okay, uh, red's oh. better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, red, like, all right. Well, red red hair on the body and black hair on top. That was it was like it was like Jordans. It was like putting Jordans <laughs> on your skin. The, the retros, bl- yeah, the bl- the retro- yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Oh man! Like you guys were talking, and it, like I said, it's still going through all, all these different moments, and now it's talking about like all the different power ups. And that's why I'm saying like the 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 Super Saiyan Four. Don't get me wrong; I have mm-hmm. a couple of Bam Prestos laying around that are Super Saiyan Fours. Like the Super Saiyan Four Vegeta, I think was probably the coolest transformation because yeah. he has the, yeah. the the Wrangler jeans on and with the with the <laughs> tail in his head. We're doing a lot of modern clothes in the GT, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's very that's interesting. So so good and then they push it to was it called uh rose or super or goku black like i think yeah, that goku was black yeah i think that was like tori's like hit back to like gt like if i was gonna do gt this is how i would have done it that, like this that is how one that one did look pretty cool yeah With the pink hair sorry yeah that was uh that wasn't it was a bad guy but yeah <laughs> yeah Still, i know it's fun <laughs> it well, is really cool guys, though, I, I mean lie. vegeta was a bad guy at one point he was yeah <clears throat> still kind of is i think what i'm still like yeah, he's he's definitely grown a lot as a character i I'm feel still... like vegeta's had the the probably the most growth as a character out of any other character like that's he's true almost a completely different person in super that is true Ooh, like, what are we talking about vegeta i feel like vegeta has yeah. had the most growth in, in the entire show yeah he's a completely different guy for sure in super 100 percent completely I've... different I'm still waiting for him to reveal his plan <clears throat> to to take over. 
<laughs> what? But secretly, he secretly. Still oh, he's just, he's secretly going to take out the planet. He's just he's infiltrated the Earthlings. Yeah, because uh, remember in, uh, in the during the Boo saga, he just lets Majin take control. Take of over. Him. Yeah, that is yeah. true. He did have some sort of deep seated ideas. That be that that also becomes one of the most sad oh, yeah. moments when he mm-hmm. judo chops him, bro. Like that Ooh, that yep. one hurt. That <laughs> one hurt. When you were a kid, like when I was a kid, I saw it. I was like, it's whatever. But I watched it recently as oh, an adult, and I'm like, Ooh. yeah. Oh no! I remember watching yeah. through it again. Ooh. It's it's a rough. Yeah, because that was like we yeah. don't really see it as a kid. You're like, oh man, he's finally changed. But as you get older, you get some kids, you you make some connections <laughs> in your life, and you're like, ah-ha. you're like, oh yeah, that definitely hits different. <laughs> and he's supposed to be Mr. Tough Guy, and he just, oh yeah, mm, that one, that one's that's a good one. That mm-hmm. that mm, mm. kudos, <laughs> S- satisfying. That, that's just it's so satisfying, man, because you just you see it in him. He's like what the hell is it like it's not worth it as much as i think it is like you start seeing the stuff around, it's just not worth it mm-hmm. it's not it's not worth it I, and when it's crazy to see that because his whole character arc is just to be just absolutely the most powerful being on in in the universe and he gets to that point to where he's pushing that cusp and he goes it's not worth it man like for my kid, for my family, for the people I love, it's just, it's not worth it. It's like his whole dreams, all of his goals, and his, t- his whole character is just crushed. And he has to be rewritten. And he does. He gets rewritten beautifully, <laughs> obviously. <Yeah. laughs> he gets rewritten be beautifully, obviously. He becomes the guy that we, you know, we have now. But it's just when you see that, that character, his whole, oh man, it's so good. Guess, it's yeah, so his, good. His whole being. Yeah, it was, he was well written. I, I read somewhere that, Akira Toriyama didn't really like Vegeta, but he was just yeah. so popular that he kind of mm. he had to be. He was supposed to, to be killed him. off yep. when he yep. was killed off. He was supposed to be killed off in the Namekian saga. Oh but yeah, they brought him by back. Frieza. Yeah, by yep. Frieza. Yeah, yeah, and that yeah. was supposed to be it, but they brought but him he back. Was so yeah, he was so loved. He had no <laughs> choice but to keep him in, and on purpose, he would always give Vegeta the edge over Goku, and then instantly give it back to goku like that was always his like testament back to like no 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 it's still about goku and vegeta's here simply because you guys keep him with the uh, plot armor yeah <laughs> vegeta, vegeta, <laughs> he, basically he, had, he had plot armor like he knew he could never get rid of vegeta because of just the way that dynamic worked so well and people loved it so he couldn't get rid of him yeah it worked, paid off though oh yeah tremendously so good all right real well, quick uh yeah your favorite villain off the top of your head. And it, you know, this can change. It doesn't have to be all time. Just right now, who's your favorite villain? Alan, go. On, honestly, can can I say Vegeta? Majin Vegeta, really, because I really liked him when Majin Vegeta was that whole Bobbity thing. I thought that was fantastic. And then uh just Vegeta not caring anymore and everything. That was that's what I keep thinking about that whole thing. I think he was a really cool villain before, and I think he became a really good villain again. Yeah, you had that moment. All right, Chris, favorite villain? Kid Boo. Oh, Kid Boo. Of all the mm-hmm. boos? That would that was definitely one I was yeah. thinking about a lot too. That's a good one. Kid Boo. I it just First of all, how he becomes Kid Boo. He Boo expels his his evil side. He gets turned <laughs> into a cookie. He gets I eaten, love that. And, and it's just mm-hmm. like the whole way that happens. I <laughs> and then just and then like it it's like that idea, like like Alan was saying, like you get the that that cold, cold android just feeling. And right. Kid Boo is just so flipping relentless. Mm-hmm. And it's to the point that it got scary because it was just fun to him. He was so scary. It became fun, like fighting, letting them power up. It became fun. It was just so cool to see that. You know what I mean? Like it was cool to see Goku personified evil because that's all Kid Buu was. It was Goku. Like, I just want to fight the strongest person. I don't care how it happens. Just make it happen. So Kid Buu was Goku. If Goku went evil, like just Goku is that guy. He's like, like, I'll let, yeah, I will let you get stronger. Like, Hey, 
Cell, here's a Sinsu bean. Beat the crap out of my kid. Like, <laughs> like what? Like, what yeah. are you doing, man? Stop it. Like, you're the, you're the ultimate opposite. You're the ultimate op. So when I saw Kid Buu, I'm like, as I got older and I watched it again, obviously, I'm like, oh, Kid Buu is just Goku. Like, if Goku went evil, that's who he would be. He would be the guy toying with everyone. He would give everyone, like, here, take as long as you need to get as strong as you possibly need because you're still not going to beat me. I don't care. Yeah. I, know, I don't it's, care. It's a weird concept as a kid because you're like, just kill him. What are you doing? Like, somebody do something. And yeah. then you kind of understand, <laughs> you get older and you kind of understand it more. And you're like, that's an insane way to live, to live your life on either side of the coin, really. Mm. Even for Goku. Like you said, with, with the cell, with giving cell Zensu it's like, uh, Goku, could you not? Like, <laughs> <laughs> sir, oh stand God. down. Yeah. Stand down, sir. Stand down. <laughs> <laughs> uh that, about you kyle that's a good one um so for me it's all about the look of the villain um mm-hmm. i think cell was a good looking one but my favorite was actually in gt and it was baby vegeta when baby f- takes over vegeta and like kind of morphs into vegeta's body oh yeah that was a really cool one too yeah he had, like uh... he had like silver hair and like mm-hmm. And these like the big old shoulder blade things going on, and yeah, and then he even had like Bulma in the trance and was like holding her, like that that was his legit wife. It was like a whole thing. It was like okay, that guy, that dude's sexy, right? Like he, <laughs> he he's not just a crazy villain, but he's he's doing it in style, and uh, it's hard to top that in my book. <laughs> so I actually just got a statue of that guy too. Fine, like. I didn't know if they were ever going to release that, like Baby Vegeta. What? Why would they print that? But now you know they got three D printers everywhere. So yeah, people can make all sorts of fun stuff. So yeah, I finally well, got that guy. I think it's time oh. we we. Whoa, what's up? I, I googled it. Holy. Oh yeah, yeah, sir. <laughs> yeah, see. Do, does he have an OnlyFans? Like, what's going on here? No, <laughs> <laughs> what's going on here how do why do i feel this way i gotta get this off my uh, See? i got my my google search gonna get rid of that <laughs> there's, definitely, there's some problems with gt oh, but yeah, history the character models are really good they did a lot of really cool yeah. looking stuff uh, uh, yeah sure. that's that's probably why i like it so much it's just like eye candy it was it was it i mean not knowing anything about it as a kid and just seeing pictures random pictures and stuff it was like what is this craziness like they're Everybody looks different. Mm-hmm. Vegeta's yeah. hair is cut short. What is going on? Like, there's just so much here. I, I remember we, we talked no about context. It. We would argue, like, is this fan art or is this a real thing? Because there was fan oh, art yeah. out there too. Oh yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. I was, I, I yeah. was yeah. sneaking AF for a while. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. It would sneak in. You're like, what did this happen? Like, where are we at with this? Oh no no no! Someone just imagined this. Okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. this is not not bad. Like, cause there's not, um, not bad. there's some fusion. What if fusions of like Piccolo and Krillin and stuff? There's just so fun to watch. To, to there's been at. a couple games that have thrown some cool fusion. There was a whole oh fusion, yeah, the like games RPG did it. on 3ds too, where you could fuse a bunch of people. So they really played around with that a lot. I know there was that 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 uh, that. TN Yamcha fusion that was just <laughs> just nightmare fuel. Yeah, that, that one. Up. It was like Yamcha with the third eye, and yeah, but, it was, he, it was like, but he was he has slightly like a bald. bald spot on his head, and he has, but he has hair. It's like, what is happening? That was why fun. are we doing this? I forgot about the game stuff. Yeah, there's a whole, there's about eight hundred video games you can play too. Call, with the oh, yeah, ball yeah. name tied oh, yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. yeah. I, 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 I did play I played some Fighter Z over the weekend, just a little bit. And, oh um, yeah. Gosh, mm-hmm. that, that game is like you were mentioning this about uh the card games, Alan. It's a uh, it's easy to learn, but like gosh, crazy difficult to master. It's just yeah. it's something else. It's still very fun. Right. Though. But on that turn, we've we've gone a little bit over. I think it's time us time for us to wrap it up. So uh, hopefully we'll get another episode going in two weeks and uh, I will see you all later. Everybody else say good goodbyes and we'll, we'll see y'all next time. Yeah. Thanks for being here, Chris. Oh yeah. yeah thanks, thanks for, Chris. Uh, yeah. Oh, gee, wow. Wow. I forgot. I know. Thanks I was like, for, Oh my goodness. <laughs> I got to say, thank you. Go. To, 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. It was nice. I appreciate you guys. We'd now love go, to be back. Yeah. Now go watch you. uh go watch Dragon Ball Superhero. Go watch all the movies now in order. <laughs> yes, None of them are canon <laughs> except for new ones. <laughs> Yeah, None and then like them. zero gotcha. sense. <laughs> you'll have a lot of questions. I remember and... trying to fit them into the story, and it doesn't make sense. I heard that they're their own story. They are. They're, 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 they're their, their own, own timeline. Thing. That was one thing I respect about Toriyama. He didn't care about canon, and he forgot <laughs> things consistently, and he changed things just because he felt like it a lot. Yep. And I thought that was really cool. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway. we appreciate we appreciate the world he created and brought us a lot of joy. hundred percent. All right. Bye for realsies this time. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.